Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So the YouTube video that's titled Seven Things That Destroyed My Testosterone Levels, I Wish I Never Did, that was produced by the YouTube channel Thomas DeLauer is 12 minutes and 37 seconds in duration. Let's break it down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember now I've semi-retired. I get to watch between 20 and 30 longevity type videos most days as well as reading articles, blogs, scientific studies, and listening to podcasts when I rock, run, and ride my bike. And I only review videos like this one from Thomas that I think are going to give real longevity value. So although it is a critique of his original video, it's most certainly not a negative criticism. At number one, Thomas Delauer talks about lower fat dieting. Here, he explains that reducing dietary fats significantly decreased his testosterone levels. Fats are essential for testosterone synthesis, as they provide the necessary cholesterols, omega-3s, and monounsaturated fatty acids. A study highlighted in the video found that individuals consuming whole eggs, which contain fats, had higher testosterone levels when compared to those who only consumed the egg whites. And number two, he mentions reduced levels of activity. He says that after lowering his activity levels, particularly the number of steps he walked each day, he noticed that walking less than 4,000 steps per day increased the risk of low testosterone. He cites research indicating that a higher step count correlates with higher testosterone levels. He observed significant drops in his testosterone when his daily step count fell below 10,000 steps per day. And number three, he highlights not enough fiber intake. A low fiber diet correlated with reduced testosterone and decreased libido. Increasing fiber intake through foods like psyllium and flax helped improve his testosterone levels. He then goes on to discuss the role of fiber in promoting gut health. He says it indirectly supports hormone production by improving gut brain signaling. At four, he admits to not having enough sex. He says the periods of low sexual activity led to a lower testosterone level. Conversely, engaging in regular sexual activity increased his testosterone. He refers to a study showing that both watching and participating in sexual activities can significantly boost testosterone levels, highlighting the psychological and the physiological effects of maintaining an active sex life. At five, he references a lack of restful sleep. Poor sleep quality, particularly disrupted REM, that's rapid eye movement sleep, negatively impacted his testosterone levels. Training hard without getting adequate rest led to low testosterone, despite, he says, him feeling physically strong. Adjusting his training intensity to improve sleep quality helped him to restore his testosterone levels. He also emphasizes the importance of REM sleep when it comes to hormone regulation. And number six, he talks about not enough sunlight exposure. Spending more time indoors, especially during the winter, reduced his testosterone levels even more. Sunlight exposure is crucial as it activates the P53 gene, which stimulates hormone production. He also explains that UVB light from the sun helps increase testosterone by promoting the secretion of luteinizing hormones and follicle stimulating hormones. And at number seven, he says he didn't do enough squatting. Engaging in consistent lower body workouts, such as squatting, significantly increased his testosterone levels. Unlike traditional split training, incorporating daily leg exercises led to, he says, a noticeable rise in his testosterone. Thomas explains that intense, shorter workouts can boost testosterone by improving the cortisol to DHEA ratio. This then enhances overall hormone balance. 